Assalamu alaikum everyone, how are you all doing? Today I am back with another reaction video. The video where this video is about is a video that goes viral around the world and even Dr. Sakar Naik and other imams like Mufti Menk, they shared their reaction on this video. So that will be included in this video as well. So let's watch the video together and at the end of the video I will be back to you to talk about this subject. Also, I want to thank everyone who shared the link of my charity project and to those who gave charity. May Allah bless you for your generosity. Thank you so, so much. We are getting step by step closer by our goal. If you want to see my charity project, you can find the link from GoFundMe in the description box under this video. And now let's go straight on to the video. The video of an imam from Algeria showing a heartwarming moment with a cat that climbed on him during Tarawih prayers in Ramadan has gone viral across various social media platforms. Despite the cat's interruption, Sheikh Walid Masas continued with his recitation without breaking his concentration. The clip has been widely shared by numerous media outlets including Al Jazeera, TRT World, CNN, BBC, Sky News, Reuters, NDTV, among others. Both Muslims and non-Muslims alike have praised the Imam for his kind treatment of the cat. Now, let's hear what Dr. Zakir Naik has to say regarding the behavior of Muslims toward animals and the value of being gentle to them in Islam. Many people have misconception that just because the Quran says that the flesh of Khanzir the flesh of pig is haram, or the, or the hadith which says that the dog should not be kept in the, could not be allowed to enter in the house because the saliva is najis. So they think that being kind to animals also is not permitted. It's totally wrong. Our beloved Prophet always said you have to be kind to the animals. And there is a very famous hadith which all of us know that once a lady had imprisoned and chained the cat and did not treat it kindly. Otherwise, she was a pious lady and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put her in hell. Though she was pious, she used to pray, but she ill-treated the cat and chained the cat. Because of that ill-treatment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put her in the hell. And there's another hadith where we know that once there was a lady who was not of good character and uh, she does zina, but once she sees a thirsty dog and she gives water to a thirsty dog. Because of that act, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives all sin and puts her in Jannah. So showing kindness to animal is recommended in Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My brothers and sisters, a few days ago there was an imam from Algeria who was fulfilling the evening prayer known as Taraweeh and a cat happened to jump on him and it actually spent a bit of time there. The beauty of all of that was he did not panic and he did not cut his recitation. He didn't even pause or stop or jerk. And subhanAllah, he maintained his concentration as he was prior to the jumping of the cat. That was something amazing, mashallah. May Allah bless the Imam and grant him goodness. What I want to say is this video went viral and rightly so, mashallah, mashallah. And many people got to see a side of bearded people, or should I say practicing Muslims with animals. I want to seize this opportunity to say the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him has told us that people have entered paradise because of their good treatment of dogs and cats and people have entered hellfire because of their bad treatment of cats. There is a narration which means these animals and the Prophet peace be upon him says Fi kulli kabidin ratbatin ajrun. Every creature that has a liver Every creature that has life, subhanAllah, we need to be good to it and we will get a reward for being kind and good. Not only that, Islam extends to your ecosystem, your environment. 
the trees that you have. You don't just chop them down in a destructive manner. But we are encouraged very strongly to plant trees. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says whoever plants a tree will continue to get a reward for as long as that tree is standing, even beyond that person's death, for as long as it is providing some form of benefit in terms of shade, in terms of fruit or whatever else it may be for the people or the birds and the animals and so on. So this is Islam. I'm so happy that this video went viral because many people think as Muslims we're not supposed to be kind to animals and so on, including dogs and pigs, subhanAllah. I've mentioned quite a few times in the past that the fact that something is prohibited to consume, such as a pig or pork, does not make it permissible for us to be nasty to those animals. Those animals are still animals created by Allah Almighty. Be kind and the Almighty will be kind, not just to you in this world, but even in the hereafter. So if people can earn paradise, through being kind to animals, imagine what they would earn by being kind towards fellow human beings. Subhanallah. May Allah Almighty make us from those who happen to be very kind. This is the month of kindness and generosity, the month of Ramadan, and this is the message I have for you tonight. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yes, subhanAllah. I am also very happy that this video got viral and that we've got to hear the reactions. I remember before I became Muslim and before I knew anything about Islam, I remember that there were a lot of Muslims who were afraid of dogs or who said that dogs are dirty animals because in Islam it says that their saliva is not clean and that if the dog touched you, with the saliva that you have to do wudu again in order to be clean, to, to pray for example. But I personally grew up with animals and I loved and I still love animals so much. And they are a big part of my happiness that I experienced in my life. Now that I researched Islam and that I discovered the truth, what the Quran and what Islam actually says about animals and nature and plants and kindness because it is always so important in Islam to be nice also towards the animals. All of them are creations of Allah and everything what has a soul or everything what is living even like plants we are supposed to be kind to them and Islam is also encouraging us of course to plant trees, that is what I've learned when I learned about Islam and to respect everything what Allah created. So I'm happy that uh, Dr. Sakar Naik and Mufti Menk in this video are explaining and it is of course something very important for us Muslims to know because even as they said there were people who went to the heaven because of treating an animal good. I believe it was about a woman who did bad things in her life, um, who did a lot of sins. And there was once a dog who was very, very thirsty and she gave the dog water. And this is the reason that Allah let her go to the heaven. And there was another woman indeed who imprisoned the cat and I believe she didn't give it food or water. And that was the reason that Allah let this woman go to hell. So this is picturing for us that it is very important to know how worthy it is to be kind to animals and that it can even lead you to go to paradise, subhanAllah. If you are planting a tree or a plant and people or animals are benefiting from this plant, this is what's giving you good deeds for as long as this plant or tree lives. As far as I understand, but of course Allah knows best, but it is so beautiful and Islam is so beautiful. I truly believe that if we are all following the rules of Islam, that this world is going to be a so much better place than it is nowadays with so much respect. So Alhamdulillah for Islam. And I hope that you all like to watch this video. Thank you very, very much for watching. And I hope to see you soon in one of my next videos. Bye.